Hey guys, in this quick video I want to show you how you can basically use conditional formatting to highlight a record in a table uh, dependent on a specific set of data in a particular cell. So if we were looking at date for example and we wanted to highlight the record uh, for today's date which is the 25th of October we are going to use uh, some conditional formatting with a formula inside that conditional formatting to do that. So. What we're first going to do is I'm going to start up at the top left hand record. Actually, I'm going to highlight the whole first line to make this easy. I'm going to then go to conditional formatting. We're going to go down to new rule and then we're going to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. From there, I'm going to type in equals. I'm going to select the cell B3. And the most important thing here to note is that we want to actually remove the absolute reference on the row which is the number three here and what that's going to allow us to do is when we copy this formula down it's going to uh, automatically update it to the next row so if for example if I move it down to row four it's going to update this reference to be B4 uh, if I were to leave the dollar sign in front of it it would always reference B3 and that's how absolute and relative referencing works so I've typed that in and I'm going to say if it equals the formula today then we're going to want to format uh, this entire row or all of the cells that I've selected in a specific way so if I go to format now and then I go over to my fill and I select orange and then I select a border color of a dark orange for example and I just highlight that really quickly here and I hit OK hit OK again now you'll see that nothing has happened, of course, because uh, 2016 0820 is August 20th, 2016, and today we are August 8th, or August 25th. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to copy this particular cell, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. You could have just hit Control shift uh, down arrow, and that would have brought us all the way down to the bottom but I'm just going to use my mouse in this case. And what I'll do now is I'm going to hit right click and I'm going to use this formatting paste option after copying that cell on the top left in B3. Perfect. So now you'll see that we've highlighted today's record. Now, I didn't want to do that exactly, so let me actually reverse this. And what I'll do is I'm going to highlight this entire column here and then we're just going to actually the entire row and then I'll do this this way so that I'm not copying the date format to all of the other cells as you saw just happen. So now if I hit this, perfect. I selected the format paste option and you see now that today's date is 08-25-2016 and of course in the date record now we see that that is uh, highlighted, that particular record for 08-25-2016 is highlighted. So now if tomorrow we came into the same file because we're using a dynamic formula using the today formula, it's going to actually update this record to 08 to 26, 2016. And this record in particular is going to be highlighted on the next day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave any comments. And again, as always, if you have anything that you want to see or learn, please leave a message in the comments and I'll be more than willing to uh, get a new video set up so that we can go through it. I appreciate your time. We'll see you next time.